Hi, my name is Barb, a volunteer with the Medical Reserve Corps of Greater Kansas City. In this video, we will be discussing how to assist a blind or vision impaired person. When approaching a blind person, initiate a greeting using a normal tone of voice. Identify yourself by name and inquire if your assistance is desired. Listen carefully to any instructions given. Look directly at the blind person when you speak so they can follow your voice and find your location. Always talk directly to the blind person. Address okay. the blind person by name if they are expected to reply. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Allow people who are blind to be independent. Most can do everyday tasks for themselves. However, you can gracefully help in understated ways. For example, if a person who is blind needs to know where to sit, place their hand on the appropriate chair. When orienting a blind or visually impaired person to the shelter setup, describe the environment and immediate surroundings. Respect the equipment of people who are blind. Do not touch a blind person's equipment, including their cane, unless asked. When walking with a blind person, ask their preference if they want to take your arm or put their hand on your shoulder for guidance. Do not grab their arm. Also, tell the person when approaching a door and which way the door opens. Alert the blind person when they are to walk up or down stairs. Stairs are approached squarely, and the blind person will need to be on the side with the handrail. Come to a full stop before the stairs and guide their hand to the railing. Proceed up or down the stairs together. Be sure to verbalize when you are at the last step. At mealtime, tell a blind person what's on their plate when assisting them. Use a clock-like system to help identify the location of the food on the plate. Potato chips are at 1.30. And we've got dessert and cookies, which is at 10 o'clock. Remember to let blind or visually impaired people know when you are leaving. And if possible, ensure the person is left in contact with a tangible object in the environment, such as a table, a wall, or chair. This will eliminate the uncomfortable feeling of standing alone and not having a reference point. Every visually impaired individual has a unique personality and therefore reacts in a unique way to being in a strange environment. Treat the blind person with respect and consideration.